Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gun Fungus. This is Arafelon, and after beating the boss last time and getting a wall slash jump thing, I noticed there is a new icon on Learn. So that should give a little more tutorial on using that. The wall bounce. Eight targets in here. I have no idea if that's actually meaningful. It's like eight challenges. And a teleport return, which seems a bit odd, but okay. Doing a wall bounce after an up dance will bounce you backward and up. Try hitting where the wall is flashing. Okay. So that's one clear, two. Horizontal wall bounce. Wall bounce off the wall and do a forward dash. So, okay, number three, jumping horizontal wall bounce, you want to jump before you, yeah, wrong button combination, yep, L2 to do the uh, wall slash, R2 to do the dash. Strong wall bounce. Touching a wall will bounce you off the wall faster. Okay. I did notice that when playing around, you get more of a boost when you're right up against the wall. Ultimate wall bounce. Strong wall bounce, jump into a forward dash, jump, and strong wall into a dash. So... Like that. Okay. Right. Yeah, you kind of hit dash or ball bounce and jump at the same time. All right, that was number five, I think. It would help if the doors had markers on that indicate you cleared them. Sliding wall bounce. Do it on the ground and right before dropping at the wall, jump. There we go. Sliding bounce into up dash. Now, apparently, I was supposed to do a forward dash in the last one. That wrong. There we go. And number eight, wall bounce climbing. Okay, so you can bounce back and forth between walls, but that doesn't give you upward momentum. You actually have some already. Okay, so that is a neat but rather difficult to use skill. What's this? I don't remember this being here before. Is it just a time trial? Is there any kind of prize for this, or is it just here?
That's faster. But again, I'm not sure if there's any point to that or if it's just a weird time trial for fun. Anyway, let's check the map. So that looks like everything up here, but there is another door down there. So let's head that way. Now, this will probably also let me get past the thing where the blue-eyed statue was. Max MP up. I have not been here. Can I... Alright, that does look like you were supposed to use the... Yeah, wall dash. Is there anything down there? Looks like there can't be. Okay, that was simple enough. Alright, and you can bounce on the spikes, too. That would have made that easier. Somehow I keep forgetting that. Okay... Yeah, let's explore back to the left. That did not work as intended. Wait. Need to refresh that now. There we go. That's how you get this. Alright, so there's a door up to the northeast. A wall dash kicks you away from the wall. It's not like an upward wall jump. Make these to line up a little better. Oh, nothing suspicious here. Looked a little odd because you can fit beneath those platforms. And sometimes when you can, that means you should. But not there, apparently. Alright, I've not been over here. But this is something neat looking. Sword plus... Plus two damage. Nice. So there are damage upgrades, that's good to know. Does that show up in my inventory? It does. Plus two on the sword. There's wild bounds. It looks like there's a lot of other upgrades I don't have. Or a dash up dash dash. Oh yeah, I forgot healing was originally an upgrade I needed to get, not something I started with. So damage is now 12 instead of 10. That's enough to one-shot these. Wrong button. Bonk. Let's explore the rest of this room first. You can parry your own spells. Okay. Why does that matter? And is this a spell I even have?
How does that work, the hammer? Mini hammers. Okay. Oh, this is almost back to some place I've already been. So let's finish the loop if I can. Wait, is that a shrine? Yes, it is. Okay. That's good. Okay, so I want to teleport somewhere. There's still some doors around here I haven't explored. But also there are things in other places I can do now. Like, I think here. Anything down here? Yes, there is. I thought that looked a bit suspicious. But I don't seem to have the power for this. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of my spells. So if there is a secret here, I can't do anything with it yet. But I believe the statue said something about a mobility upgrade over here. Uh, let's switch to this. Alright, silenced. I can't use that. Duh. Right. Can I... See if I can remember how to. Not like that. That might work if I could get the timing right. I need to jump sooner. There we go. This you just slash. And a boss. Of course there's a boss. Arcane Master. <laughs> I hit right into the spikes at the beginning. Ah, the Angel of Death. The hail? Once upon a time, my kind humbly bowed down to yours, but the tables have turned. Seems awfully arrogant, doesn't it? It is irrelevant since you will never reach the surface. You're just another meanie. Okay, this is not a good start. Okay. Let's try that again and do better. Okay, those just explode. That shows where it's going to teleport. These shots are homing. Yeah, and I can't hit them with my sword. Harry works. Let's try the hammer.
It's really hard to not get in here. There's my auto heal. Ah, wrong button. I keep wanting to hit the magic button to parry. Now it's the same as the healing button. Alright, now out of parries for now. And slashing the wrong direction. Honestly, it doesn't seem much more aggressive now than it was to begin with. Yeah, and the damage upgrade affects only the sword, not the parries. And presumably not spells either. Almost there. There we go. So what does this give me? Silver Ornament lets you teleport from Silver Shrines. Okay. That is handy. Not essential, but definitely handy. So Silver Shrines are now functionally the same as Gold Ones. Or unless I can't teleport to them. It says from. Yes, I do. Okay, so I can teleport from... Okay, I can still not teleport to them, but I can teleport from them now. So that is good to know. So these were the diagonal things. This, I'm not even sure what I needed there. There's a ladybug here that I don't know what I needed because I didn't mark it. Yeah, let's come back here and check and see if I can figure out what to do with that. Nothing new and learn. Let's put on the more mobility-oriented things. Alright, to the left and up. Yeah, that's not helpful. Alright, I need to go up to the... over here. I think I need the Spore Bounce. Alright, I still haven't checked if the Claw Slash can hurt things. Or if it's purely a movement ability. To use my double jump on. But I can double jump back up as soon as I get to the other screen. So this was... I think it was just tricky and I simply didn't do it. Or no, when I was here before I didn't have the side dash. Quite sure what to do there. More dash. That didn't work. I'm not even quite sure what I did there, but it didn't work. I think I might need to hit that from the highest possible point. That wrong dash. Yeah, my 
I missing something here? I feel like I need to be able to bounce over this from the booster and then for a dash here. That was almost what I needed to do, just with a down slash. I have wrong dash. Uh, I accidentally dashed again when I didn't mean to. Hmm. Too much forward momentum. But I think I need just enough forward momentum to be able to. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, like that. Hmm. I think I'm going to come back to this later. But I will see if I can get further up this tunnel than I could before. Because up here is where the game started, but I haven't been able to get back since coming down. Almost. Yes, that worked. Does it do any good? I don't know. But it worked. Yeah, this is where we started. And at that point, I had absolutely no chance of getting up here, but... Now... Now there's something here. This looks like a relic. Water breath. Breathe underwater. And it's not a relic, it's just there. So water is no longer a threat. That is very nice to know. And this looks like a shortcut, but it needs to be open from both sides. Okay, this is running a little long as far as the recording goes, so I'm going to end the video here, make my way back to a shrine off camera. Up for now, this has been Arafelon playing Lone Fungus, and hey, water breathing, that's going to come in handy.